Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Would the Muslim leaders and the armies keep quiet if that beautiful building behind me was ever occupied, threatened, or destroyed? Would they keep quiet or would the armies move if that building behind me was threatened by anybody on the earth? By Allah, they wouldn't think, they wouldn't think twice to defend this building behind us. Even if it meant starting a nuclear war or even if it meant World War Three. But how ironic, how ironic the fact that the drop of one Muslim's blood, one blood drop of a Muslim is worth more to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the Kaaba behind me and the entire surroundings of Haram. And yet today we see streams of Muslims, streams of Muslims bleeding all over the world. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he did tawaf around that beautiful, splendid house of Allah behind me. And he said, Ma azamaki wa ma azama hurmataka in the Allah wa la damul Muslim adamu hurmatan in the Allah minki. How great you are, O Kaaba. How noble and splendid indeed. But to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the drop of blood of one Muslim is more sacred than you and your whole surroundings. Jammu Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir is yet another project against the Muslims by the Hindu oppressor government. Just like the project against the Uyghur Muslims in China, the projects against the Muslims in Palestine and Burma. So regarding Kashmir, Wallahi, it's a mighty shame, a big humiliation for the Ummah that Pakistan unfortunately has submitted to the American project to free up to 700,000 cowardly Hindu soldiers. Now India, just like Israel, will take over the land, increase its aggression, resettle Hindus in Jammu and Kashmir and push the Muslims out by scrapping Article 370. So the situation will worsen and our sisters will continue to be raped and our youth will continue to be blinded by metal pellets and our elders will continue living in fear. Remember Muslims, oppression is worse than slaughter because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, wal fitna tu ashaddu min al qatl very clearly that the oppression is worse, worse than killing. And also remember Muslims, your enemy comes, takes your land, takes your property, rapes your mother, rapes your sister, kills your family, children, brothers, etc. And you say to the enemy, I'm not going to trade with you. Subhanallah, how cowardly Imran Khan. What a cowardly piece of rhetoric. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rekindles Iman in the generals of Pakistan who are in a position to take over Kashmir, the whole of Kashmir and indeed the whole of India by eyeball, eyeballing the Kafir, cowardly Hindu aggression against us. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to free Kashmir, Palestine, Burma, China, anywhere where the Muslims are suffering. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I beg him, I beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give our generals in the Pakistani armed forces the Iman to stand up to these kuffar and be dictated by ayats of Quran and a hadith rather than the White House objectives. Barakallahu feekum. Ameen.